Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing my April BoxyCharm box. So if you want to see how I got this look and also my thoughts on this month's box, then just keep watching. This is what the box looks like this month and then this is what the card looks like. The theme of this month is sweet treats and then everything that I got in my box is on the back. So this is what the inside of the box looks like and all of the products. The first item in the box is from Terra de Mars and this is the 008 Redition Body Cleanser and this retails for $22. So this is what this item looks like. I'm not going to test it out because it's a body cleanser and I would probably use it in the shower. Um, but this is the first item in the box. The second item in the box is from Eloise Beauty and it is the Get Gleaming Body Glow. It says this is a non-sticky and lightweight luminizer that can be applied to all areas on the face and body for a dazzling buildable glow. This transfer proof formula is filled with ultra sparkly reflex to radiate your skin and this retails for $38. So it's in the shade Champagne Rich. I'm really excited to get this because I really wanted to try the new Fenty Beauty body sauce um, but that is pretty expensive so I'm glad to get this in the box. This looks maybe a little too deep for my skin tone but that's what the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. And let me just swatch it on the back of my hand. That is what the swatch looks like. It looks a little too deep for my skin tone, but I'm going to test it out on my um, chest and see if it's too dark. I put three layers on and you cannot even really tell a difference like maybe just a little bit right here but I thought this was gonna be too dark for me but I can't even tell a difference using this so like I can just see like a little bit of sparkle but that's it so not really sure about this one the next item in the box was a choice item and this is the studio makeup tinted moisturizer it's a tinted moisturizer with a light to medium coverage formulated with hyaluronic acid to combine hydrating skin care benefits with lightweight coverage and a glowy look and this retails for $35 so this one was a choice item that I got to choose and then this is what the packaging looks like I actually really like the packaging on this I can't remember what shade I picked out I think it's the shade oat I'm not sure it doesn't say it on the packaging anywhere but it does come with a pump and I'm just gonna pump it on my sponge here It has a really good smell to it. That is what my face looks like. This is the only thing that I have on my face so far. I really like how dewy it makes me look. This is probably one of my favorite tinted moisturizers that I have tried out. I think the color is okay. Um, I really, really like how dewy this makes my skin look. So I'm really, really impressed with that so far. So I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back for the rest of the products. The next item in the box is from Natasha Denona. This is the Ayana palette and it's a special edition palette created exclusively for BoxyCharm. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like neutral cool tone, but then you have this like greeny silvery shade here at the end which i think is really pretty so let me do some swatches here are what the swatches look like from top to bottom we have harlow lash line satin skin crease and glam green i really like this shade it's like a greeny silvery color but this is a really really pretty cool tone neutral palette that i really don't have a whole lot of in my collection so I think to go in, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Harlow and I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to go in with the shade Crease and I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to take the shade Lash Line and I am going to put that in my outer corner. I 
As much as I want to use this shade, I kind of want to go into this shade. So I'm going to go in with the shade Satin Skin and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to go in with the shade Glam Green and I'm just going to put that in the lower lash line. The last item in the box is from Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics and this is the Monarch Lash Pack. It says whether you're just transitioning into makeup or simply seeking an everyday comfortable glam lash, Baby Girl and Charmer are the perfect duo. Baby Girl is an angled lash perfect for achieving the iconic cat eye effect. Charmer is a round lash we created for an instant doll eye effect. Both are 100% silk and cruelty free. Apply your favorite pair with the lash applicator included in the kit. And this retails for $38. The top lash is Baby Girl and then the bottom lash is Charmer and then this is the lash applicator. I think I'm going to go in with Baby Girl. I, it takes me forever to apply lashes on camera so I'm just going to do them off camera really quickly. This is what the eyes look like with the lashes. I probably wouldn't wear these lashes with this eye look, but I really, really like these lashes. I also finished off the look with um, doing a lip, but I think I forgot to say the price of the Natasha Denona palette. The price of this is $48. So let me just total up my box here. The total of my box is $181, which I think is a really good price because I only pay $25 for this box. That is what my full face looks like. Let me give you my first thoughts on these. Uh, the Natasha Denona palette I actually really, really like. Um, I'm glad that I have a more so neutral palette because I really don't have a whole lot of neutral palettes in my collection, so I am really glad to get this in the box. The lashes, these were so easy to put on. I haven't tried these ones and I didn't use the applicator. I normally just use my fingers, but I really, really like these lashes. I think they were really easy to put on. I think they look really, really nice and they're really nice and fluffy. Um, so I will definitely be wearing these again. The uh, body cleanser I didn't get to try out, but I definitely will try it out and let you guys know in a future video. The Eloise Beauty Get Gleaming Body Glow. I'm going to have to pass on this for $38. I do not think this is worth it at all. I put like four layers on and you can see just like a little bit and it is sticky. I've had it on for like since the beginning of this video and if I just put my hand on it it is so sticky and it leaves like you can see it on my hands. I do not like this. I'll probably not use it again. Maybe I'll use it as a highlighter or something like that but I'm I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Final item is the Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer. I really, really like how my skin looks with this. I'm definitely gonna have to use this again. I think that this is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers that I have used. So I think the two products that really stood out to me were the Natasha Denona and the Studio Makeup. I really, really enjoyed both of these. But yeah, that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe if you have haven't already make sure you like this video and also hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you in my next one bye guys